One of my first videos was about Gone with the Wind. In that video, I mentioned actress Olivia de Havilland still being alive at the age of 98 very briefly. Two years later, I did a video about her 100th birthday, as well as Kirk Douglas' 100th birthday. Since she lived a long life and exceeded the average lifespan of a human, her passing would have only been expected. Olivia de Havilland was born on July 1st, 1916, and died a few weeks after her 104th birthday. She was well known for her role as Melanie Hamilton on Gone with the Wind, as I already mentioned. Prior to being this famous character, she had also appeared in Captain Blood. What matters is that now I own you as once you own me. You're mine, do you understand? Mine to do with as I please. And the adventures of Robin Hood. I don't see the need. You're very charming, Lady Marion, but not... Interestingly enough, the Adventures of Robin Hood and Gone with the Wind were both released in color. They were released in the late 1930s, putting them way ahead of their time. She won two Oscars for Best Actress in her portrayals as Miss Josephine, Jody Norris in To Each His Own, and Catherine Sloper in The Harris. I already mentioned her original career goal as an English teacher, and my disappointment over how little chance I have of seeing her in real life. Unfortunately, I was correct in that area. So now I'll get to what I avoided in the birthday video. I linked an article from People magazine that explained the estranged relationship between Olivia de Havilland and her younger sister, Joan Fontaine. Fontaine, who died in 2013, and the feud was the subject of what de Havilland opened up about on her 100th birthday interview. The article cites the 1942 Oscars as when the attention was made public, and it also mentioned the various reasons given for the start of their feud. While they haven't given a definitive answer throughout the decades, de Havilland herself admits it going back to childhood. Now, I know for her 100th birthday and her recent passing, this isn't the best detail to mention about her life. My intention was to finish what I started. Also, this was unfortunately a major part of her life. It's surprising they lived as long as they did given that people can die from complications of stress. I just hope that they made up in the afterlife should there be one. While I was searching for my first video of Olivia de Havilland, I forgot I lumped her in with Kirk Douglas to celebrate their 100th birthdays. In my last video, I asked what if Ken Osmond was told he'd die the same year as Kirk Douglas after a dialogue scene where Douglas was directly mentioned to him. I just wonder what would have happened if both of them were told that they would have died the same year. <laughs> well, don't you let Kirk Douglas get away with anything, Eddie. Seeing how shocked and surprised I originally was that I condensed Douglas and de Havilland, I can only imagine Ken Osmond's reaction if he was told this back in 1961. I just wonder what if I was told Kirk Douglas and Olivia de Havilland would die the same year when I was drafting that video. Rest in peace, Olivia de Havilland.